Did you go out and watch comedians I live? Did. You yeah. Did. What were you trying to notice? I was mostly looking for people performing for the first time, or a lot of people who were trying out new material, or people who were sort of stuck at that level, right. uh, or just watching people bomb and and how how they deal because people deal differently. You know. Oh, I watched a girl. It still hurts. I watched a girl just tank. I mean, she it tanked so badly. It was just sad and not funny and you could hear a pin drop in the audience and rather than continue, she just really slowly like hung up the mic and then just walked off the stage. And as she was walking off, it's not funny, but it's really funny. As she was walking off, the mic dropped. <laughs> and it was so but really good. Um, and, and I was just trying to see mostly how people responded to success and failure at a beginning stage when you don't really know what you're doing and you haven't had enough experience. Have you ever been on stage as yourself? Presenting award shows and, and things. Is that um, a comfortable no, space for you? No, it's not the same as acting. People are like, you're an actor. It's not the same. There's nothing worse than having to be yourself and get up on a stage and do something. Was there some um, understanding from watching these comedians of how different of a job it is than your job? Yes. I could never do what they do. I could never do that. I could never put my whole self-worth on the line for a laugh. Uh, that, ugh, I, yeah, I bow down. I'm in complete awe and admiration. And it not something you desired like throughout your research. You never thought, well, I should probably go try to do two minutes. I think at one point Amy told me that she'd write me something and I should go do it. And I just was like, I think I've been saying this now because it feels like the only comparison. If you are playing a doctor on TV, you should not try to perform surgery. It would not go <laughs> well. well. Like and then maybe you'd be so traumatized you would no longer be able to play a doctor on TV. <laughs> I feel the exact same way about comedy. You should not try that because if it works, that I, I'm not even sure it's useful if it works, but if it fails, I don't think I could ever get back up on a stage and play a comedian and feel like I could be any good at it. So there must have been a heightened sense of nervousness from other scenes that you've done in the past as an actor. Totally. Horrifying. Absolutely. I spent many, many a minute in like power pose in my corset in my dressing room, like trying to psych myself up to go out there and be as comfortable as Midge needs to be. Well, I have to go back to the moment when Amy Sherman Palladino asks you, she says, oh, I'll write a few minutes for you. So you, like, how do you, how do you <laughs> sort of shut down your director and say, no, I'm not going to do I that? think I just went, no, 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 you get up there, you know, like, you do it. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out. <laughs>